but you can actually use light to wake up earlier. Jamie Zeitzer and colleagues had, did a beautiful study showing that if you turn on the lights before waking up, so around 45 minutes to an hour before waking up, even if your eyelids are closed, provided you're not under the, the covers, after doing that for a few days, that increases your total sleep time and shifts forward the time at which you feel sleepy. It makes you want to go to bed earlier each night. Now, in a kind of uh, diabolical way, they did this with teenagers who are notorious for wanting to wake up late and stay up late. And what they found was bright light flashes, just turning on the lights in their environment, overhead lights, because they're trying to activate the system. And that's why they're using overhead lights. Even through the eyelids, before these kids woke up, then made those kids naturally want to go to bed earlier and they ended up sleeping longer. So that's something you could try. You could put your lights on a timer to go on um, early in the day before you wake up. You could open your blinds so that sunlight is coming through. Now, again, if you, you know, curl up under the covers, then it's not going to reach uh, these neurons. But it's remarkable the light can actually penetrate the eyelids, activate these neurons and go to the central clock. That study illustrates a really important principle of how you're built, which is you have the capacity for what are called phase advances and phase delays. And I don't want to complicate this too much. So the simplest way to think about phase advances and phase delays is that if you see light late in the day, and in particular in the middle of the night, your brain and body, for reasons that now you understand, will think that that's morning light, even though it's not sunlight because you have this heightened sensitivity and it will phase delay, it will delay your clock. It will essentially make you want to get up later and go to sleep later. So if you get light exposure too late in the evening or in the middle of the night, it's going to make it hard to want to wake up the next morning early and to go to bed early. The opposite is also true. If you wake up early, say, you know, 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. and get light exposure or even earlier, 4 a.m. and get light exposure, it will phase advance your clock, okay? It's gonna make your clock think it's earlier and you'll wanna wake up earlier. So the simple way to think about this is if you're having trouble waking up early and feeling alert early in the day, you're going to wanna try and get bright light exposure even before waking up because it will advance your clock. It will, it's sort of like turning the clock forward. Whereas if you are having trouble waking up early, you definitely don't want to get too much light exposure or any light exposure to your eyes late in the evening and in the middle of the night because it's just gonna delay your clock more and more. So rather than get into the specifics of everybody's situation, because there are many of you out there with different situations and lifestyle requirements, et cetera, the way to think about this is that you have these internal mechanisms of adenosine and circadian clocks, and they're always operating. And what you're trying to do is provide them anchors. You're trying to provide them consistent, powerful anchors so that your cortisol, your melatonin, and then everything that's, that cascades down from that, like your metabolism and your ability to learn and your sense of alertness, your dopamine, your serotonin, all that stuff is timed regularly. One of the reasons why there's so much uh, you know, challenge out there with focus and anxiety and depression. There are a lot of reasons for that. But one of the reasons is that people's internal mechanisms aren't anchored to anything regular. Now, this doesn't require being neurotically attached to getting up at a very specific time, going outside, viewing the sunlight same time every day. These systems, again, will average. But if you can provide them consistent light anchors early in the day and in the evening and avoiding light at night, you will be amazed at the tremendous number of positive effects that can come from that at the level of metabolic factors, hormones, and just general feelings of well-being. In fact, most of us are familiar with what it is to not sleep well and all the terrible effects that has. Maybe one night you're fine, two nights even. For the new par parents out there, I, I sympathize with you. But most people are not familiar with what it is to sleep really, really well on a consistent basis. And when you start doing that by controlling your sleep environment, right? Get the proper sleep surface, get the proper pillow, get the temperature in the room right, get your light exposure right, start timing your exercise at normal periods or times throughout the, the day and week. It's amazing how many other biological systems just naturally fall in line. And this is why 
whenever people ask me, what should I take? Which is one of the most common questions I get. What supplement should I take? What drugs should I be taking? What things should I be taking? The first question I always ask them is, how's your sleep? And 90% of the time they tell me they either have trouble falling asleep or staying asleep, or they don't feel rested throughout the day. A brief note about naps. Naps provided that they're less than one ultradian cycle, provided they're 20 minutes or 30 minutes or even an hour, can be very beneficial for a lot of people. You don't have to take them, but many people naturally feel a dip in energy and focus late in the afternoon. In fact, if we were gonna look at wakefulness, what we would find is that you get that morning light exposure, hopefully, your cortisol goes up, people start feeling awake, and then around two or three or four in the afternoon, there's a spike in, in everything from alertness to ability to learn, some metabolic factors drop, and then it just naturally comes back up, and then it tapers off as the night goes on.